The lynx is not the only hunter in the preserve. The Ichnumon wanders through the thicket during the day in search of small mammals, fowl, reptiles and amphibians, and even some invertebrates. It is the only mongoose on the European continent. Its distribution in North Africa and the lack of remains of this species in European quaternary beds have led to the conclusion that it might have been brought to the Iberian Peninsula by the Arabs as a domestic animal. The extremely well-developed senses of the Ichnumon make them efficient hunters. Perhaps for this reason, Arabs use them as pets to keep snakes, mice and rats under control. Two hundred different species of vertebrates inhabit Doniana, and the number of individuals is in the millions. Of the 53 protected species which reproduce on the Iberian Peninsula and the Balearic Islands, 30 of them do so in Doniana, and only five in the park and bordering areas. Of the other 23 which do not reproduce here, at least 10 visit the area regularly. This zoological wealth is due to three principal factors. First of all, Doñana has been historically isolated and man couldn't damage it. In addition, the high productivity of the bogs in the marshes can be considered among one of the highest in the world. And finally, its location between the African and European continents is a decisive influencing factor. When Europe is hit with a cold wave, Doñana receives the fowl which might have been living in intermediate waters. Likewise, when there are extreme droughts in Africa, Doñana is the first point where northward flying birds encounter water. This attracts scarce animals such as the country goose, the horned coot, or the morito, the only European ibis, to the Doniana marshlands. Between the thicket and the marsh, there is a strip known as the bank. The large cork trees which mark the boundary are a spectacular congregation point for fowl, which is why these trees have come to be known as the Doñana Avery. In this noisy birthing colony, some 400 spoonbill couples, 100 heron couples, 800 egret couples, and more than 2,000 Espulgabueyes couples have made their nests. The 
the nesting species are arranged in hierarchical order. In the highest branches, the heron and storks build their nests. Below them, on the lower branches, the spoonbills make their nests, followed by cattle egrets and egrets. Even birds of prey seem to have called a truce, a nest or rest, in this disconcerting maternity ward. For the migratory birds of Europe, Doniana is an indispensable place of rest and sustenance. For scientists and naturalists, a key to European nature. And for the visitor, the place described by Abel Chapman at the beginning of the century. The Doniana Preserve has always seemed like a fragment of wild African solitude, uprooted and especially prepared for our personal benefit in this remote corner of Europe. For us, naturalists and lovers of strange savagery, Doniana is nothing short of a paradise on earth. <laughs>